I often get questions and queries about how to write a master's thesis. And today I would briefly like to address those questions and hope to answer them. So let's begin. Before I go any further, please keep in mind that I have a whole playlist on writing tips and I have extensively covered the writing process, but also how to write a dissertation, how to choose a topic. And all of those videos kind of apply to this one too. But in this one, I will specifically cover, first of all, what is expected in a master's thesis, how do you choose a topic, and then how best can you write a defendable thesis. So coming to choosing the topic, and people often send me a question, can you suggest a thesis topic to me? That is something, first of all, that should be driven by what interests you in your field of study. What is it that excites you, right? And then in consultation with your own faculty, you will devise a topic for your thesis. How will you reach a topic which is original? which contributes something new to the field of study or the topic on which you want to do the research, you will have to go look up journals, journal articles, databases, put in your terms so that you know what has been written on that particular topic generally and specifically. And that is when you will find out, oh, this angle, no one has looked at this text from this point of view. So, for example, let's say if I wanted to do a master's thesis on Salman Rushdie, which I actually did, his first three novels, I will go to MLA database or any other database that is available to you and put in what particular themes I want to cover. Is it immigration? Right? Is it translation? Is it cultural interaction? And see what people have published about it about Salman Rushdie in general, but about those three novels in particular. I will even print out the abstracts of the papers that have been written and go through those abstracts to see what themes are emerging. And then I'll find at least five or six articles that deal specifically with my area of inquiry and read them carefully. Now, the reason I'm reading them is not necessarily just to know what others have said about the novel, but to also know where to place my own research, my own assertions in conversation with those. Now, a master's thesis is usually three chapters, an introduction and probably two chapters and a conclusion. At least that's what my experience was in my master's. So you cannot have a deeply expansive thesis, you have to have a focused argument. You just found out what others have written about the book and then what you want to say about it. And then in three chapters, you can either discuss it thematically or book by book, depending on who your author is. Now, one cautionary note for any writing, but especially for thesis, is do not summarize the text. Do not try to tell your reader what's included in Midnight's Children. You can always assume that they know that. You just focus on what is it that you want to say about the book. If you are citing from the book, those citations ought to support your claim. And then you also explain why are you discussing that? What is it that you are saying about a book? What is your evidence from the text? And why does it matter for the reader to know? Now, you're also expected to use literary theory in your master's thesis, and I have ample videos on that. But basically what it means when someone says use literary theory is you are going to go to a theorist, let's say Michel Foucault or Marx, you're going to pick up one or two concepts from them. If you're going to Marx, you will say, okay, class struggle, here is how Marx defines class struggle. Here is how class struggle comes across to me as I read Salman Rushdie's Midnight's Children. And I'm just making it up. But 
theory helps you frame your argument in a philosophical way where you look at a text from a theoretical tool that you yourself have first explained and then used. Another thing about a master's thesis is you cannot waste a lot of words. It's a very focused work. Unlike a dissertation, which can be 300 pages, a master's thesis is at the most 120 pages, 130 pages in literary studies. So one aspect of your writing has to be precision. You write your first draft and you, you and then you constantly revise it to make sure that there is no fluff in it, that there is nothing redundant or nothing that is not needed there. Just like a dissertation, you'll use the introduction to lay out what is it that you're doing. What is your main thesis? It has to be an argumentative thesis. You're arguing for something. Which theory will you employ and why? What do you understand of other people's work about the author whose work you're writing about? And then towards the end of your introduction, you will give a chapter breakdown. In chapter one, I'll discuss Midnight's Children. In chapter two, I'll discuss shame, if you're doing Rushdi, right? Or in chapter one, I'll discuss the immigrant experience in the first three novels. In chapter two, I will discuss the transgressive aspect of postmodernism. So you can have thematic chapters or chapters that go book by book. I never encourage my students to engage more than two or three novels in a master's thesis. But when in doubt, always go to your faculty advisor. So the reason I ask people to talk to their faculty is because they are the ones who know exactly how you have been trained, what you have read, what your trained capabilities are. And they're the ones who can guide you the best possible way. If you don't have a good supervisor, find out another faculty member that you're comfortable with, right? And then ask their opinion. Another suggestion, form a group. If there are five or six of you working on your master's thesis in your department, make a study group. Meet once a month or twice a month, share your notes, share your research, even read each other's drafts and give each other suggestions. All of these things will help you improve your writing, but also to stay connected to a community of writers who are in the same boat as you, and then you try to finish. So remember, a master's thesis is not as expensive as a dissertation, but it follows the same structure, an introduction, chapters, and a conclusion. It must also use theory, and it must also give something new innovative in conversation in previous discussions of the text that you're writing about. Overall, don't try to do it alone. Seek guidance from your faculty. And if possible, work with your colleagues, share resources, brainstorm together, and even help each other revise your drafts. Most importantly, you don't just sit down and write a master's thesis. You go through the drafting process, you go through the research process, and then you spend most of your time revising the thesis. So these are some brief suggestions about how to go about writing a master's thesis, especially in humanities, but it might apply to social sciences as well. If you have more questions, please post them in the comments, but also do check out the playlist on writing and research because I've already covered a lot of topics in that playlist. That's all. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Take care. And from me to you, peace and love.